episode 10. We are actually, there's six girls. We're working our way to the top five. Here we go. And I'm like, come on, fruit cookie. I want to put my soapbox. That's basically it. Let's talk about drag and all its forms. Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is my review for RuPaul's Drag Race Season 9, Episode 10. Like I said, we are actually getting there, honey. We are past the halfway point. We are getting down to the nitty gritty, honey. Um, yeah, this shit's almost over, child. We had uh, Zaldi actually was in the house, which is RuPaul's designer. And... Um, with his beautiful hair, child, beautiful hair. Um, and Kesha was actually there, and I enjoyed her as a guest judge. She, you could tell that Kesha was actually, she enjoyed herself, and that's always fun to watch when the judges are there, and they actually enjoy themselves. They were like little kids in the candy Well, she was like a little kid in the candy store. Baby Zaldi was giving the girls this, honey. I said, okay, Zaldi. I said, this ain't the week to fuck up your fashions, honey, because he's on it. He was child, he was worse than Santino. I was like, woo, okay. So, um, Valentina's gone. Bye, girl. Anyway, and child, soon as we get started up, honey, Debbie Downer strikes again, honey. I said, baby, if y'all don't go get Nina, honey, and get her out of my face, I I'm getting tired. I'm getting so tired. So, so tired. I can't. I just can't. You know, I can't. I tried to watch an episode of Hey Queen. I love Hey Queen with Johnny McCover. <laughs> with uh, Nina, I couldn't even fuck that shit. You know, Johnny McGovern is so funny and so engaging. Nina, fuck that up. I couldn't with her. I said, girl, you are giving me Debbie Downer tease. And, and she looked good and everything. She had a cute weird avatar thing going on, but I just consumed she up her mouth. I said, oh, bitch. Everybody is not, I, even though the show's over, the bitch still think everybody's after. I said, girl, you gonna go somewhere and hide in the corner, bitch. Anyway, a mess. And this is what was, this is the consensus in the room. Trinity's done with it. Sasha's done with it. Peppermint's done with it. Shay actually even tried to they tried to reconcile a little bit and things were just a little lighter because I thought they were going to walk away enemies. But, you know, they she just a little lighter. Like, you know, it is what it is, girl. I just said, I can't fuck with you, you know, because you, you, now you got to do you. We're not going to build you up no more. You're going to either get on the bus or stand the fuck on the bus stop. We can't. We just can't with you. So anyway, Rue comes down. Um, this episode is going to be crew members makeovers, which was really good. Very interesting. We partnered everybody up. Uh, Sarge was with Peppermint, and let me tell you from the door, we love Sarge. Sarge was everything. Sarge made good fucking TV. You hear me? Oh, I enjoyed him so much. Um, Aaron was with Nina. Rizzo was with Trinity. Rizzo and Trinity was so much alike that it was hilarious, and it was funny what Trinity said. She um, and she actually said it in the uh, Untuck that she kind of had a crush on Rizzo, and I can see that she, he's kind of cute. But you know, she had to help him tuck and all that. Once they went through all that, she's like, I don't have no crush on him no more. I understand, girl. Yuck. Anyway, <laughs> um, Brady was with Alexis. Josh was with Shay. Um, Josh was really cool. He was really cool, real nice guy, real nice. Like, he was real nice. He, he was a really, really nice guy. And then Duncan was with Sasha. Duncan was really, really cool, too. Duncan's funny as hell. He's funny as shit. He's hilarious. And let me say this. Aaron got paired up with Nina. And Aaron was, you can see he's like a quiet kind of guy, but he's like a a macho butch kind of dude. He's like um, covered in tattoos and stuff. But he was so soothing 
to Nina's soul. Like he he worked with her and he talked with her and he tried to build her up and then he tried to, you know, he didn't just pacify her. He tried to tell her different things that she could do to help herself out of that rut that she's actually in. It was so unexpected from him. Really good guy. Now, she ought to try to make friends with him and stay friends with him, but I don't think he, it, I don't, it might not be a good friendship for him because she probably would drain the shit out of him. But a real nice guy. Um, so this is basically what we did. And then they had a number that they did together. So this wasn't really, there's not a whole, whole lot to talk about. Um, but it was really good. It was a very, very entertaining episode. Just not a whole lot of pieces to it. But it was very entertaining, I'm telling you. Between Sarge and Duncan, we stayed entertained. And Duncan and goddamn Sasha, I'm telling you, they were like a match made in heaven. Them two, they can go on the road. Them two goddamn fools, honey. I'm telling you, I can see it, child. Duncan, if you have time off in the summer, pair up with Shay. Y'all can have Shay kool open up the show for you, and then him and Sasha be the act, the closing act. Honey, y'all would make a ton of money. It would be fabulous. Anyway, so uh, let's go on to, and of course, you know, the, the look was sisters, so they had to try to make them look kind of like them. Now, Shay, I was shocked because it was kind of ra of a raggedy rendition. It wasn't, she wasn't pulled together this time. And I was like, are you kidding me? As well as Shay sews and stuff. It was just, I think it was more time constraints than anything else. But it just didn't come across really, really good. But she did okay. You know what I mean? She did okay. She was safe and all of that. Um, one of the funniest things on the runway, Sarge, we, I kept looking at Sarge once Sarge got dressed. I said, Sarge looks like somebody. I just couldn't figure out who was. Fucking Ginger Minge. He reminded me of Ginger Minge. I was screaming. I was like, oh my God. And then it, there was a banter between him and Kesha that was just hilarious. You hear me? I said, oh my God. This was, this was like TV gold. It really was. This was really good. Um, then we had Ross and Michelle. They just could not agree upon anything this, this episode. That was pretty goddamn funny. Because you know, Ross is usually kind of, you think he's kind of soft-spoken, but maybe him and Michelle was given. <laughs> I said, oh, okay. So that was pretty funny. Um, Let's see. So Trinity and Rizzo, actually, they got the um, congratulations. And uh, Trinity won two two custom-made gowns, and they gave Rizzo a $2,000 gift card to go down to the men's store and get him some suits made. I said, well, that was nice. Um, and the bottom was Shay versus Nina. Woo! Baby. I said, this was kind of... I was kind of glad that they kind of reconciled earlier in the program because, you know, it would have been terrible. Nina would have really been, oh, everybody was after me. They set me up because Shay tore ass up, Patty, and that damn tore up. up, up. And it was another Ariana Grande song, honey. I th no, I'm sorry, I'm lying. It wasn't Ariana Grande. It was Demi Lovato. It was Demi Lovato. And I said, what are they going to do with this? Because... You know, Nina ain't got no clothes on, naturally. She got on her little bodysuit, her little Beyonce uh, Super Bowl bodysuit, and did a bunny bunny thing, bunny ear thing. She Again, time and constraints. Um, the bunny thing was cool, but it wasn't done as well as what she usually does, and it was just kind of, yeah. Um, she, they got to doing their thing. And I said, what is Shay going to do? Because Shay was in a full gown, you know, with a high slit on one side. Baby, with big hair swooped to the one side. When I tell you that Shay Kool-Aid gave you sex kitten realness, baby, that bitch was, po and I should have known, she was posing, and you know, the bitch got legs for days. And she was, she tore it down. I said, come on, Shay Kool-Aid, bitch. She did. She said, she literally, she sent Nina's ass on her. She sent her back at honey. And it was all fair. It was no what no bullshit. It was time to go. It was really time to go. I was like, okay. It was cool. It was a good episode. It really was. It was good. Now, I'm telling you, Alexis Michelle has to go. 
That's it. There's nothing else left to talk about. She did good, though, with her the, the matching up with the twin. It just, they said it was kind of dated. Mm, whatever. It was done real, real well, though. They they was they was giving Barbarella twins, honey. It was cute, but they weren't buying it, honey. And, of course, you know, she was whining. I said, oh. But anyway, all of the men from behind the cameras were very gracious. They were very nice. You can tell that they are very happy with their job. They're very loyal to Rue and the process and the production. So that was actually really, that was real nice to see. Real nice to see. I enjoyed it. I really did. But that's it. That's all I have to say. Like I said, there was a this was a really entertaining episode. You kind of had to see it because a lot of things were things I couldn't really explain. You would have to kind of see it. You know what I mean? Um, there was a lot of like facial jokes and hilarity going on. Funny. Funny as hell. But um, definitely it was an episode to see. Um, that's it. And I'll catch up with you guys next weekend. All right. Bye.